Hello everyone, welcome to Automation, an amazing game about automotive design and engineering. What we're going to do today is look at a few of the scenarios and start to work through these. Um, I've done a lot of the tutorial missions already, so I'd like to just start in and go. I, we'll start with the inline four engines. Uh, I may do you know, two or three per section. There's inline four, V8, general, and inline six. I'll probably do a couple of each and work through all, that way we're not stuck in one little rut. So, we're going to start with the Irish race buggy. And each scenario has you build an engine, two specifications designed in this scenario here. Uh, it is the year 1992 and your small Ireland-based engine producing company has long been looking for an opportunity to expand its business towards sportier engines. Fate plays into your hands as you are contacted and contracted by a small racing team who need a new engine design for use in a new cross-country racing league. This could become great publicity or a huge failure. Probably a huge failure in my case, but... So, over here you have limitations. Uh, these are things that you're bound by. You must meet these regulations and your specifications must meet or exceed these here. So, in this one, we're looking for a 1500cc max engine, a 1.5 liter. Uh, the manufacturing year is 1992. We can't use any technology after that. The fuel has to be super unleaded, and the engine must be naturally aspirated. No turbochargers. We're looking to get 188 horsepower. Um, life of longer than 10,000 kilometers. Weight lower than 374 pounds. More than... 25% responsiveness, and it can't be too loud, which, it's a racing engine, but, the engine configuration. oh, still seeing some of these pop-up things, alright, so, let's do, okay, weight is an issue, so let's go with an aluminum block, price is not an issue, so we can go wherever we want. Now, we need it to be, let's make this a little more squared. Fifteen hundred cc's max. So, bang, right on. Alright, crankshaft, high torque, extremely high torque. Twenty-five pounds, so this is the lightest, as we said, Cost is not an issue, so we'll do some heavier things here. We need RPM. I think this is going to be... Yeah, we're going to go with that. That should be our best option. Looking for RPM and torque here. Low emissions. Very high RPM. Max torque, very high. Okay, we're going to go with the forged. Now to move on to the top end, we want a dual overhead the cam. material is similar to block material and allows you to choose. We'll just do that. Hmm, now valves per cylinder. Let's take a look at what we're designing here. I think four is good. It's your average um, industry standard. Some go with a two valve design. That's more in some of the older engines, and some of the new engines have gone with a five-valve design. Uh, maybe a bit excessive, so we'll stick with four. We'll go for aluminum. Compression. Let's shoot for ten to one to start. Let's bring the cam profile a bit more towards the sport and race side. Uh, we'll skip VVT and VVL. We do need... A cool engine design. Hmm. Looking at a race application. I like the one that said turbo in big letters. Yeah. Ooh. That's a nice color. I guess there's no green. Just this. That looks great to me. We'll go with that. Alright, now it must be naturally aspirated, so we'll skip this entire section. 
We're going to go with Fuel Injection. It's 92, so we're still well within that. Uh, Multipoint. It's a race engine, so I'm going to go with a throttle per cylinder de design. It's individual throttle bodies. We'll skip some of the race application. Um, we will do race intake, a.k.a. just a large nozzle that sucks the air. Now, the fuel type has to be super unleaded, so we're going to go with that. Um, we're going to go a little richer than 14.7 to 1, and a little more advanced timing. Yeah. 5,800. We're going to go 7,700 RPM limit. Uh, definitely going to do a race exhaust. Uh, we do have to think about noise reduction here. So we'll skip the catalytic converter and we'll go with two reverse flow mufflers. If that doesn't quiet it, then nothing will. All right. Now we're going to move on to testing and see how well our initial design comes out. It's a nice looking engine. Very racy and sporty in my opinion. All right, we're looking for 188 horsepower, bit of longevity, low weight, high responsiveness, and not too loud. All right, looks like we're probably not gonna hit the 188 horsepower. 149. I think we're good on the revs, 7500, and we've got it set to 7700 redline. So all we need to do is get the power up in this situation. So we're going to go back to the top end, run a little more compression, a little racier cam profile, a little richer, a little more timing. Alright, what did that get us? Emissions, economy, and fuel octane went down, but that's not what we're looking at. 177, so we need 11 more horsepower. So, let's beef these numbers up a little more. Uh, let's go 11 to 1 compression. A little more cam profile. Hopefully we don't just push this too far. 184, four more horsepower. This one shouldn't be too difficult to finish out. Add a little bit there, 11.5 to one. Uh, I guess a little richer. It's a race engine, so it's not as big a deal. All right, now this hopefully will get us there. 186, two more horsepower. Let's go up on these, a little more. Mm, I'm going to leave the compression where it's at. Go with 95 here. I think this will get it, so we'll watch it. Losing torque. An interesting torque curve. They intersect at a pretty good spot there. Oh! That didn't sound good. Running rich. So, we lost a lot of power because it's running too rich. So, we'll go back down to 11.7.1. Go with a little more timing. Uh, we're going to max this out for race at 100. Go with 12 to 1 compression. Hopefully we don't destroy the engine in this situation. Though we've already done that once. Climb, baby, climb. Looking better now. 165, still not quite there. Yeah, it sounds like we still got problems. Still running rich. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see if that helps. 
47 man hours. 1371 to manufacture the engine. Not bad for a race engine. Oh yeah, I got a little more power now. 180. And no detonation. Hey, we did it! 194 horsepower. 1650 points. Alright. I'm not going to worry about going for gold or things like that. Maybe later. Now we're going to move to Jeep Drives U. Moscow 1950. Your government-owned automotive plant has received a requisition from the Army. They are designing a new light off-roader, which requires a simple, torquey, and practically bulletproof engine to power it. Can you give them what they want, or is your next assignment going to be in Siberia? Well, hopefully that's not... Not the case. All right, uh, we're 1954, so we're going to be limited on technology. Uh, we're looking regular leaded fuel, 3,000 RPM limit. They really do just need a little torquey motor. So we need more than 100 newton meters of torque. Uh, manufacturing time less than 23 hours, as I assume they want to crank a lot out for the military. It's got to have quite a bit of longevity, 31,500 kilometers can't be too heavy and it can't be very loud 5% okay so we'll go with our basics here looking for torque what are we at now shoot for 2.2 liter yeah close enough Yeah, we want to go with the heavy-duty cast because there's a higher torque. That's definitely what we're looking for here is the torque. Mm, let's go with a single overhead cam. Four valves per cylinder. Let's crank this compression up a bit. We'll leave the cam profile where it's at. And, since it's the military, we need something cool looking. Let's get a good color going here. Can we get our green again? Yeah. Alright, we'll go with this one. One of the two options available. Turbocharging, not an option at this point. Uh, we'll look for a two-barrel carburetor. Um... Go the performance intake. Cost doesn't seem to be an issue here. We do need regular leaded. Uh, we'll see. We'll stick with fourteen point seven to one. Um, let's go a little higher there. Three thousand is our RPM limit, so that's where we're gonna have to go. Hmm. With a tubular exhaust. Double reverse flow. See if we can keep the noise down. Okay. Alright, let's see what we're starting with here. It's all gonna go green. Oh! Okay. That was... Enormous failure. Yeah, we're gonna stick eight to one. Let's uh let's try that again. Hopefully without destroying the engine. Wow. Three thousand RPMs gonna be Hmm. Okay. So we're down on a lot. We got 84 newton meters right now. Ooh. Manufacturing time 23 hours. We're at 26. So let's work on that first. Hmm. So we want to go with some less. Uh, let's drop this to a bait, more basic exhaust. That should help a bit. Uh, do, 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 do. We need to improve longevity. 
we need more torque. Let's see what boosting this up a bit does. 2.8 liters sounds good. Just increase in size. Oh! Mmm. Okay. So, we're gonna go back down on this. <laughs> Let's go with the 2.4 liter. Not sure that that was the best idea. Okay, don't, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Okay. 88 newton meters, torque. 3,000 rev limit. Alright, so we've gotten the manufacturing time down. So we need more torque and more longevity. I wonder if increasing this will do much. Let's just see what going to quality 15 does. If that actually has an effect. That's what that does takes it to 310 man hours so we're gonna go back down to zero and just ignore the tech pool for now more torque Let's see what we can get out of this all right so we've improved the weight and lowered everything See what this will do for us. Okay, we're back under the man hours and the weight. Engine failed due to knock lower the compression. Okay. Let's just slam the compression. Alright, we've got the torque now. Now we just have to make the motor last. reach its RPM limit. Hmm. hmm. Let's see, let's... I wonder if that's... Aha! We made it! Completed! Nice. Alright, on to the next one. Medium. Alright, we'll try this one. The year is 2016, and after far too long making boring hybrids, your company decides it's time to revive its sporting image with a new super high performance hot hatch. This will be no easy task as emissions regulations are tighter than ever. Also, the company's eccentric founder insists that turbocharging sports cars is against nature. You'll need to make a lightweight, low emissions engine producing a high power output without forced induction. All right. 221 horsepower. Ooh, okay. Uh, manufacturing year 2016. So we're going to have access to pretty much anything. Premium unleaded fuel. 221 horsepower. $1,750 for the cost. 55,000 kilometers longevity. That's big. Really lightweight and very low on emissions okay in line four hmm. magnesium's gonna have a lot of man hours but that's not gonna be an issue all right we'll go with the alloy block 2.2 liter sounds good to me There we go. Okay. So we're looking for power. Torque not as much of an issue. So right here we're not going to worry about that. Crankshaft block is fine. We need to keep the cost down. Yeah, three pounds difference not going to be as big a deal. 
We're going to want something with a good RPM limit here. Four man hours for that. I assume the cost will be high. 282 for that. Hmm. We'll go with cast pistons just for now. That's going to be heavy. We'll stick with four. Go with aluminum. Uh, none of this. Of course, it's got to look pretty. We did one with the turbo logo. I like this one. Yeah, nice black. Black and silver. Alright, naturally aspirated. Gonna go direct injection. It's gonna get us the most efficiency and power. It's not a race engine, it's just a, a sporty hatch. So we're gonna go with a standard exhaust. Premium unleaded. It's our fuel. Oh, we'll leave these alone for now. I want a little more revs out of this. Go with a tubular exhaust. Uh, emissions is a big deal, so we need... We'll go with a three-way. We're not going to worry about mufflers. Mm, yeah, noise doesn't seem to be an issue here. So let's see what we've done so far. Direct fuel injected. <laughs> 140 horsepower. Okay. Over on longevity. Not too far over on cost. And we're nowhere near the power. So we need to... Oh, let's... That's not going to have an effect. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Let's just... Let's beef up the timing a bit. Run it a mm. Now, we'll stick with that. We do have... Alright. Let's go with a two-way and see if we keep our emissions. Nope. So we'll go back and put that back to a three-way. Alright. Cost. Got a little money to lose. Alright, we're looking at very high, very... We'll go high average. Make sure the thing still runs. Okay, we're within cost. So we need power... much late weight we had to spare. Where is the weight? There it is. 242. Let's keep it under 291. So let's... Okay, we're still under 167 horsepower. So we're about 60 off. Let's just beef it up. Still good. 275. 171 horsepower. Let's just see how high we can go with this. Okay, too high. Back those down a bit. Alright. 180. Now we're going to have to start looking at some other things. Let's increase compression a bit definitely want to go with a higher cam profile where are we at on the MTBF bottom end port has failed due to max RPM being too high so 
Let's drop to 6,900. Let's watch this one and see where the curve's at. Get to see my full engine. Three hundred is our torque curve. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That was spectacular. I don't think we want to lower this too much. Let's just lower this. Go down a little. Maybe not so. And not so. Starting to reach its RPM limit. Not sure that that's gonna have any. Hmm. Oops. I mean to do that twice. We're at 206 horsepower, so we're doing better. I don't think reducing this is gonna do a whole lot of good. No. I think we're gonna have to see about doing this. Actually, let's see what this is doing for us. All right, so we've gone over on cost. We're good on longevity, so we need power and lower the cost. Let's just see about beefing it up a bit. 195 horsepower. 1787. 1750. Let's... These are going to be very costly, I assume. Hmm. I think that's going to be the only way here to keep. Yeah. 1787. What are we looking at? High RPM. Go here and see if. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to stick with the I beam. Hmm. I'm gonna cut cost somewhere. Hmm. Now we weigh too much. Oh boy. It's always a trade off, isn't it? That's gonna be way too much. 64 pounds, and the cost goes way up. Yeah, torque's not an issue. Let's see what we can do with the top end. It's gonna raise our cost, but the weight will go down. 18, so... Yeah. Go back to aluminum. Let's look at the fuel system. Hmm. Let's see what multi-port does for us. We lost emissions and lost power. I think I want to stick direct injection. I don't know if we can get away with this. I think that's going to put our cost way too high. Yeah. It's hard to come back from $1,000. So we'll go here. We get more power. All right, 199. We're close to the 200 mark. Still a ways to go. Still got to get that cost down. Hmm. I think that's gonna hurt our weight. Yeah. So we've got the cost. 291. Where's our weight? 318. 201 horsepower. Let's look at... Hmm. I think we'll go back to aluminum. Maybe if we go two per cylinder. Alright. That's what we need. Everything except power. So now we have to get more power out of this motor. So let's make it bigger. 
This is a beefy four cylinder. 195, so that's done some. Let's raise compression, cam profile. Mm, no, I don't want to mess with this too much. A little more with the timing. 206, we're getting there. So. A little more. <laughs> Almost at a 3 liter. And now we're at a 3 liter. 3 liter, 4 cylinder. A little more. A little more. 212. We're still good with everything else. 291, so we're good with weight. So I think we can beef this up a little more. Yeah, 3.1 liter. Let's get a little more out of these. Alright, where does this put us? I think we can do it with this. Don't blow up. A little lower power at the start. power all together. Yeah, I don't think something's right. RPM limit. Lower the compression. Okay. Drop these. We'll drop the compression. 212. Hmm. Nine more horsepower. Ooh. Let's... Go back and undo again. What do we do for the weight? 1.7. Okay, we're back here. 209. Let's go up a little on the compression. 210. Let's see how high we can go with the compression. Okay, so compression's the issue here. Still an issue. Hmm. Okay, 210. 10's where we're at now. Let's go to 100 here. Let's get back with our fuel. A little more here. I don't like changing that much. Alright, emissions didn't change there. We went down on horsepower. RPM limit. Ninety-three, what did we do there? Hmm. I broke it. Alright, we're at 200. We were at 210 earlier. Hmm. Let's just see what a race intake does for us right now. Alright. So that's not an option. Do we get a lower, lower power from that intake? No, okay. Performance here. Let's look at the exhaust. See if we can do something with that. We're gonna drop some weight here going with this. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, 206. We're getting back up there. So that's the limit of our compression. 207. Hmm. 
Let's see how much room we've got with emissions. 110. We've got some emissions room. Let's crank this up a bit. Let's see if we can get a little more power out of it. Oh yeah, I think we got it now. Let's watch this one. I think this is it. Two twenty one. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we've got it. If everything else is fine. Oh <laughs> emissions. Well we got a few horsepower to go, so let's drop this a little. There it is. Bronze. Not the best, but good enough, I think. Two twenty one horsepower. Let's uh two twenty three. Let's see if we can lower this and get a better score. Oh, okay, so no. Well, okay, that'll do for now. So we've done the first three scenarios in the inline four-cylinder. Next time we'll look at some of the V8, uh, maybe the inline f six. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check it out next time.